Hello, I'm Brian with GlutenFreeHomeBrewing.com and today we're going to pour two beers. I'm uh, set up by the keg here. We have one beer on the tap and one in a bottle and we're going to pour both of them and they are the same exact beer. So let me pour the beers and then we'll explain what we're doing. Oh, crap. I didn't realize because it's going to blow the keg, but we'll move on. Oops. So I wanted to film this episode before I blew the keg and apparently I misjudged a little bit. Um, but the reason I wanted to do it on this particular beer is because it's the same exact beer. Um, this is the Pylon Imperial IPA. We did a tasting, uh, I believe last month with uh, JP Beerley from Beerley Brewing. And mine I poured from uh, the keg that day. He had a bottle and um, there was some notes or some differences uh, between head retention, how fine or, or large the bubbles were, how quickly the, the head dissipated. Um, I was hoping to do this with a little bit more beer in the keg, uh, but unfortunately my procrastination uh, created the situation we're in today. And, but it's still giving a pretty good example. I know there is a little bit of CO2 pushed into uh, the beer on the right, which is from the keg. Um, but I think this is a really great illustration between the same exact beer from the same exact batch, the same mash, the same uh, boil, the same fermentation, half of it was kegged, half of it was bottled. So half of it was bottled conditioned, half of it was conditioned in the keg, and the difference between the head retention is, is quite uh, substantial. This does not mean kegging is always going to produce a better uh, head, and nor does it mean the other way around. We're, we're not going to get into that debate today because we could go on for the next several hours and probably not agree on anything other than to uh, maybe disagree a little bit on some things. Uh, there's a lot of science behind proper carbonation and the, um, and the, the head and the head retention, etc. So I just wanted to film this today because it's a perfect example of how we have not just the same recipe that was brewed on two different days and one was bottled and one was kegged, but it's the same exact batch and half went into one and half went into the other. Um, and I wanted to do pour the one from the keg first because in this example, the head retention really held up quite well in the kegged version and uh, the, it dissipated quite a bit in the bottle conditioned version. So that's all we're gonna film today. Um, I know we're not getting into any great debate. It was just a really great visual example that you probably don't see too often uh, because most of us don't split up our batches like that. Um, if you want to email us or um, make some comments uh, down below, by all means, we will respond to your comments and get some dialogue going. Uh, because like I said, this could probably go on for, for hours if you want to have a lively discussion about it. Again, I'm Brian with GlutenFreeHomeBrewing.com. I'll see you at the next video blog.